About two weeks ago, the devs added the gift deposit event, and over the two weeks that it's been out, I have come to absolutely hate this game mode. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the issues that this game mode has and maybe some things that the devs can do to fix it for the next time they have an event. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. Alright, now I don't want to just be hating on this event, I do want to bring in a little bit of positives, uh, so let's go ahead and talk about those first. I actually do think the game mode is pretty fun. Uh, if you strip it all the way down, it's not a bad game mode if you think about it. It's pretty engaging, you're always doing something, you're killing people, and then you're chasing down their body for the presents, and then you're going to the deposit uh, area to deposit all the gifts, and you have to survive uh, while you're getting there and while you're on it to get all your presents, you know, counted. So I do think that at its core, it's a fun game mode. Uh, I also really like the, uh, the double XP, that's really, really nice. I've been getting a couple... Uh, 20,000 XP games uh, when I get 10,000 XP from the game mode and then the ads that you can watch to double your XP That is really really nice as well. Even if it's not directly related to the mode. It's uh, a nice bonus Anyway, that's about all the positives that I had have for this game mode. So let's go ahead and talk about all the major issues that it has um, So yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. So to start off with with the things that I don't like about this game mode is the fact that it's actually copied exactly from another game mode that we already have in the game uh, called Deposit FFA or something. Uh, they literally just took the code for that game mode, made it so you could only play on Sub-Zero, and just changed the little coins that you get in that game mode to little presents for this game mode. Now, this game mode is only played on one map, and that is Sub-Zero. Now, this wouldn't usually be an issue. Uh, for let's say one of the party modes that can only be played on one map like chaos snipers is only on the one arena map Except that this uh, game mode specifically this event uh, Almost every single lobby that you play will be on this uh, Event so you're always going to be playing sub-zero and it's probably one of if not the worst map They could have chosen and it's the brightest map in the game So your eyes are always looking at the bright whites of the ground everywhere and the actual goal of the event, to get the festive flyer, is extremely hard and time consuming. So it's not like you can just play this event for like 4 or 5 hours, just grind it out for one day and then be done with it. No, if you're like me who's been playing it since it came out for multiple hours every day and still haven't gotten it, it means that you have to play the same map that hurts your eyes the whole time uh, for me over 20 hours, which is just not fun at all and it's not good for my eyes and please help me my eyes Just the bright colors of the map are not the only issue There are actually many many issues with sub-zero being the only map that you can play and Honestly, it's probably the worst map they could have chosen for this game mode and I'll go ahead and tell you why first off the spawns are horrible on this map almost every single spawn and I'll put up a couple clips as I'm talking about it Almost every single spawn in this game or on this map uh, can be spawn trapped. You can be spawn trapped in the back in two different spawns. You can be spawn trapped down by the parkour. You can be spawn trapped around the park uh, around the spawns that are by the parkour. You can be trapped basically everywhere on this map, and it just really really sucks. Another thing that makes this map the worst map they could have chosen, and this is probably the biggest issue with this map, is the actual hard points themselves. So as you guys know, once you get the presence from the people that you've killed, you have to then bring yourself to the different zones, uh, which are on a random rotation, which is bad, and I'll explain why in a second. But you have to bring yourself to these zones, and you have to sit in the zone while your presence are drained from you, uh, hoping for the chance that you get the festive flyer thing. Now the reason that the, uh, this map is probably the worst choice they could have chosen for this game mode is because of the hard points themselves. These hard points are probably the worst designed in the whole game, and specifically this one. So imagine that you're playing in a full lobby of 8 players and you have a bunch of presents on you. Let's say you have like 6 or 7 presents on you, and you're trying to sit here on this site. Well let's look. There is one, two, three, four different places that enemies could come from, and there's not a single safe spot on this whole site that you can stand where you can't be shot from multiple places. If you sit here, which is the safest place, I say with uh, quotations, you can still be shot from here and from here, even if you're crouched, and you can be shot from here. And basically everywhere else on this site, there's it's literally zero cover. You might as well just be standing out in the open. Now the reason that this is bad game design is because it's just unfun to play. You already grind 
enough to get the presence and then you get here and you can't stay alive long enough to even get your presence down which really just shouldn't be how the game mode is played it's you know especially considering how hard it is to get the festive flyer i mean i've been playing for 20 plus hours and i haven't gotten it yet it just really shouldn't be on this map with this site right here Another site that's really bad for a different reason is this one. And the reason that this one is so bad, and I've been abusing this, is that you can wall jump spam extremely easily. So let's say you're sitting here in this corner, you can just wall jump spam between this, and I played Uzi for most of the time that I was playing this. But you can just stand here and you can spam wall jump and kill people. And I've made multiple videos about this, but when you wall jump it actually destroys the hitboxes, it makes them... Uh, not work properly, so it's really annoying to play against and it's really honestly unfair And so yeah, that's why this site is dumb as well And this site is honestly no better because it also has a very similar corner uh, Where you can just wall jump spam with the Uzi and you guys can see with the Uzi Which is what I used for most of this event you get three jumps So that means that you can get up to about right here all the way up there uh, and the whole time not only are you throwing off your opponent's aim because that's all that wall jump does but you're breaking your hitbox the entire time that you're doing this so the entire time that you're up here flying all the way up there in between these two things you can't take a single headshot because that's just how wall jump works in this game for some reason uh, but yeah just these sites are so poorly designed that it really just isn't fun to play on especially this middle one and what makes it even worse is that there is no set rotation. So it doesn't do each one equally every game. It doesn't go this one, to that one, to that one, to this one. No, it's actually random which ones it does. Which means, and I've had this happen before, that it can be this middle site for the whole game. Which just is obviously not good at all. Now I know that Sub-Zero is really the only map that fits this theme of, you know, Christmas. Which this event is based off of. But honestly, the devs really just could have had some of the map makers uh, put some snow around some of the other maps and then added those maps in as well because it honestly is not fun to play the same map, the worst designed map for this game mode for 20 plus hours uh, just over and over again. It really just is not fun. So I don't know. I do get why they only made it one map, but honestly, the sake of enjoying playing this game, I think is more important more important than fitting a theme now that I've talked about the map part of the event you know how terrible it is that they only made it one map and they made it uh, and they used the worst choice they possibly could have for the event I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about the other major part of this event that is really 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 bad and that is the actual festive flyer itself not the item but how you get it so this event is not like the other ones that they've had recently where they've had uh, you know the ammo one and I don't remember what the other one was before that uh, but they've had two events recently uh, where you had a tangible goal. Uh, there was like a hard number that you had to grind to. Like for the ammo one, you had to get 120 ammo or something like that uh, at one time in order to get the item. Uh, but for this mode, there is no goal. It's just get lucky, which is very, very bad game design in my opinion. And let me go ahead and explain why. Since the Festive Flyer is all luck, it means that all skill is removed from the game mode which is honestly never a good idea people like myself who have spent a very long time grinding it and who average a very high amount of presence per game we still don't have it because because it's just all it's all rng and i've seen plenty of level 10 random people that have gotten it after their second game playing it so it just removes all the skill from it um and it's just really really bad what they really should have done is, you know, just like with the other events, is make a tangible goal. So make it so you have to get 10,000 presents or 5,000 or some number. Play test it first, find out what a good number is, and then make that the goal instead of just, oh, one day you'll get it if you play enough. Now the reason that I have, uh, the reason why I think the random drop chances in raids are fine, but this isn't, is because raids... Are staying in the game forever you know the Tortuga raid is been in the game for over a year so you have plenty of time to get it and that uh, and that item is a lot more rare um, so it makes sense because you have no time limit for this game mode you have a time limit and they made it way too hard they made the chances way way too low uh, that even people who have played like 30 hours who get like 40 presents per game still don't have it so basically, they removed all the skill out of the game mode, is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, in conclusion, it's just the combination of the absolutely atrocious map choice, 
the choice to only have one map, the choice to make the festive flyer way too hard to get and to make it completely RNG so that you can't uh, you can't get it faster with better skills. It's just a very, very poorly designed event, even if the actual game mode itself is pretty fun and, you know, copied, but that's fine. But yeah, that's basically all I had to say. Hopefully next time we have an event, uh, the devs <laughs> realize that this one was not fun to play uh, for many reasons, and they fix those reasons. Now, I'm not trying to, you know, trash the devs. I'm just, I'm coming at this as a constructive criticism kind of thing as someone who has played this event for many 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 hours who is who knows exactly what's wrong with it uh, I hope the devs realize I'm not trying to trash talk them or the game because I think they did an okay job uh, it's just there's some issues so yeah that's gonna be it for this video I hope you guys have good luck with your festive flyer if you don't already have it um, and yeah I go I'm actually recording this on New Year's so if you guys have a great New Year's um, I'm very happy that they extended this six days, so I still have a chance. Uh, and yeah, I will catch you guys all next time. Peace!